Aloha class. So now this is part two of problem uh, 2-12. And so um, I filled in, oh, there we go. I filled in um, this information on my Excel sheet. So now we're ready to complete our cost of good manufactured um, problem here. Okay, and so, um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, the only thing I would say you need to be careful of is this indirect materials. Remember, whenever we calculate this and this amount of materials that's transferred over to work in process or manufacturing overhead, there will be direct and indirect materials, and we need to take out the indirect materials because we only want the direct materials. Right? And so let's just plug in the numbers that we're given if we are given this specific formula. So beginning raw materials, purchases for of raw materials. Oh, there we go. And we can sum these up or add them together and then we have our ending raw materials over here and we will subtract those this one minus that one so these are all of our materials direct and indirect so if you looked at the overhead um, amounts over here it does say indirect materials and that's included in our balance so we do want to take out the indirect materials so that we are only using direct materials remember those go to overhead um, to our overhead account, right? And they've already gone to this overhead account over here. Um, I just took the total, right? Um, so this direct materials, we took out the indirect. Now we only have the direct. We'll move that into work in process. Um, direct labor over here, direct labor overhead. Remember, this is an applied overhead. And the applied amount of overhead was over here with the predetermined overhead rate. And we can sum these up. The total manufacturing costs. Now we have our beginning work in process and our ending work in process. So our formula will be this one plus this one minus this one. Right? And so they're asking for this cost of good manufactured schedule, but in order to make this schedule, I first had to find the direct materials and indirect materials, take out the indirect materials and solve for the direct materials before I could complete my um, cost of good manufacturing schedule. Yep. And that's it for this problem.